one of the things that we wanted to do um, today is is to offer our, our words of gratitude and thanksgiving um, to the community and so many people that have helped us out um, throughout the past couple of days and to also clarify uh, the tragic events that uh, happened uh, on that uh, dreadful evening. You know, the most important thing to remember is that there is a very real man, flesh and blood, who has lost his wife, he was passionately in love with, and his, and his children. You know, that the real people that are now gone, they won't be at our family events. There'll be no 21st for them. There'll be no 18th, 16th. There'll be no weddings for us to celebrate. That's the reality for us going forward. You won't have any grandkids from them. Try my best to save the life of my kids and my wife. There's nothing I can do inside the house. The fire and the smoke. Can't see anything inside the house. Keep calling my wife's name, my boys, my girls. No one answer. At that time, I found myself, they already outside, they jumped from the window. When I know the fire's in the, they come through in the room where I was standing that night. I, I came from, uh, through the window, running in the front, calling my wife and my kid. No one there. There's no one in the front of the house. No one answered. Mm. And I realized that time, my wife and my kids, they can't make it. We're so grateful for all the, the people who, who've come to our aid. And it's not just our family. There were two other families involved as well. Yeah. It's just so many people to thank. Forgive me if I don't name anyone. But know that we are so grateful to everyone. Everyone. Mm. God bless you all. Wrap it up. I'd really like to get this point across um, and I'd really like you guys to cover this, you know, to the people, uh, to our community and the people of Australia and all over the world. If you have your children and your loved ones, you cuddle them, you love them and you tell them that you love them. Don't take anything for granted. And I know that sounds cliche, but don't, don't, let, don't let any rift or bond happen between your families. Go and reconcile with them and, and love one another and hold on to your loved ones and to the parents that are there, look after your children. Because uh, I think it's a timely reminder how fragile life is and